guys are actually here and you're like, yeah, try this, try that, do this, do that. You're giving us tips. You're educating us on how it actually works. Gigabyte has reached out to us and they're like, hey, we kind of want to teach you guys how to build PCs. This is something that you're interested in. And we're just like, I think that's something the overall community can benefit from. Welcome everybody, thank you for joining us on our very first Ors TV live stream. My name is Van, I'm going to be your host today, and I'm joined by a very special co-host. Hello everyone, I'm Kate. Thank you for joining us today, Kate. So, today's show, we have a couple topics we want to talk to you guys about. I think what we're going to do is we're going to split this show into three different segments. Yes. And for each one of the segments, we're going to have a very great hardware prize for giveaway, just for you viewers of this stream. Kate, would you like to explain how they can win these prizes? Okay, so total for this um, TV show, we're going to have a three giveaway. And each giveaway will be given in different segments. So our first segment is called the topic of the day. And our topic today is about the Intel Optane memory. And along with our giveaway, um, which is the 32, 32 gig stick of <laughs> Intel Optane memory. And the way to win is... Uh, to share this post and then um, share your comments and then um, down below for the descriptions. So today we actually have a special host, a uh, special guest today <laughs> uh, to answer some questions with us. Let's welcome Brian. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Brian and I'm part of the technical marketing team at Gigabyte. Hey Brian, thanks for joining us today on the show. Um, so Kate and I, we aren't as familiar with Intel Optane technology. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you think you can give us a, a quick uh, explanation as to what it's all about? Yeah, so Intel Optane memory, it's uh, it's like a special memory that's in between uh, RAM and uh, storage drives like uh, SSD or hard drives. Yeah. It's used to accelerate, to just, just to accelerate your system. system. So it can be used to accelerate your SSD or hard drives. Yeah. And last year, it was only available to accelerate your primary boot drive but this year they added a new feature where you can uh, accelerate your secondary drives now for like an even more responsive system okay. experience that's good so secondary drive that's probably like maybe like hard drive or storage yes. disk where I usually uh, some type of storage system okay. yeah so real world usage what does that translate to so your system will be very responsive as a uh, intel optane has a very very low latency it's almost a thousand times faster latency than a traditional hard drive or an SSD even. So this is where your benefit would come from. So faster loading times, opening content, it will all be like blazing fast. And speaking of content, I mean, me, myself, I do a lot of photos and yeah, videos here at Gigabyte. So um, actually, I do have a storage drive, four terabyte drive. It's like yeah. almost completely filled with <laughs> yeah. photos and videos. So. So that um, will help you a lot for yeah, actually, reducing the processing time. With yeah, that. sometimes I open up my windows and it's like, it takes forever for all my files to show up. So mm -hmm. you're saying Optane does speed up that process. Yes, it will learn what you do and then adapt to it and accelerate your workload. So you can do more work faster. Yeah. Cool, cool. So what is this for? Who is this for? I, mean. I believe everyone can benefit in one way or another as long as you're using a computer. You can benefit from any of the like specs that has like the responsiveness. Everyone can benefit from stuff loading faster. Any uh, kind of a uh, gaming benefits? Yes, as, uh, gaming as well. So all your games will load a little bit faster than normal, and just allows you more time for gaming as well. I play a lot of PUBG, so, so hopefully it will help me to. Uh order the response time and, uh, <laughs> I don't know. you know better performance i don't know I mean. if optane can make up for a lack of skill inside yeah. pubg so maybe i will see the enemy faster than i'm using the intel tank that might have a problem it with your eyes the response time <laughs> you gotta assure the response time with your eyes man <laughs> but okay but back to that spec mm -hmm. is there any testing performance done of the intel so we actually have done a lot of real-world tests, real-world performance, and you can find all this information on our Oris Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and along with that, we also have an Oris blog where we write up and have all the charts available there as well. Nice. 
What about, well, we actually got a question from Demetrius. He asks about Intel Optane, um, does it benefit 3D graphics software? Like uh, Blender? Yes, it, it would allow it to load faster. Uh -huh. In the beginning, Optane will probably be a little bit slow in the beginning, yeah. but as it learns your workflow, your workload, uh -huh. it will adapt to it and it start slowly accelerating it as well. It takes like two or three more times and it will learn how to accelerate your workload. Yeah, so it's pretty yeah. Fast yeah, 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 it's very fast. What about any kind of um, setup procedure? All it or configure it in any mm -hmm. way? Mm -hmm. So actually the good thing about that is we started bundling it with our Z370 Gaming 7 dash OP. And we also are bundling it with our Z370 Ultra Gaming dash OP. So we actually, I have a board over here and we actually integrate it into our um into our m.2 armor now cool. right. so it's very nice you guys can check it out let's take a look then yeah. <laughs> so, wow this is a great board yeah and this one ben how about we how about we share with us what model is this one so i believe this one's the z370 gaming 7 dash op um, we basically took our flagship board and we added optane memory inside of it as brandon was talking earlier um, it's going to be pre-installed here on the top M.2 slot, and it comes with a custom uh, Intel Optane heat shield. So nice. That's pretty cool, right, Kate? Well, compared to my Z370 Gaming 7, that this is a beautiful board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is, I mean, kind of like the latest iteration of what we have here at Gigabyte and Or. So we put all the latest and greatest tech inside of it. Um, some of the other things that are pretty cool about this board, honestly, um, to me, um, I like the ESS Saber DAC that's included on here. So an ESS Saber DAC, if you, and um, mm -hmm. what it does, it lets you have a more audio experience. So you can drive better headphones, drive better speakers. Um, so which when is, I play, so, <laughs> so I, when I play PUBG, I'd uh -huh. be able to hear my enemies ten miles away. <laughs> yes. yes, potentially right? you can. Yes. Potentially you can. So you know when someone's gonna sneak up around you. Like yeah. you know, let's say for me, I'm trying to gun you down uh -huh. and walking behind you. If Both you're good enough, you fire, can, right? Uh, I don't know about <laughs> that. So it helps um, your audio, basically. Pretty much, yes. The ESS Saber DAC does help your audio. Um, a couple other cool stuff on this board, um, which we include on our standard Gaming 7 board, too, is um, the addition of some extra durability features. You guys can take a closer look. Metal shielding around these. That helps a lot of graphic cards, because yes. graphic cards nowadays, better performance, of course, higher PC. A little bit more weights on that so it adds up the durability mm -hmm. and then on top of that the whole board has a lot of rgb fusions which mm -hmm. makes the board look better yeah and one thing i do like though is the aisle shield here is very very um good yeah so on the aisle panel on the back you can see that we have a lot of multiple input output options for you um tons of usb ports uh you have a usb 3.1 uh type c connector um, we also have dual LAN, looks like right there, and then a couple different options for audio as well. So again, this motherboard does provide a couple different options for you to configure your system however you see fit. Well, that's really good. So Ben, my question to you is where can I get this one? Um, this board, this one specific, the Gaming 7-OP, you can find it on Newegg.com. Um, but if this one's a little bit out of your price range, we do offer the Ultra Gaming-OP board on Amazon. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead, check out those websites. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave the comment below and then we'll uh, more than happy to answer it. Yeah. And remember to enter into our giveaway too. Remember, we're giving out 32 gigs of Intel Optane memory. So all you have to do is share this video as well as enter into the giveaway description. Sorry, the giveaway link in the description below. Well, thank you so much, Brian, for yeah. coming here yeah, and answer no all our questions. We'll <laughs> see you around. Yeah, right. Later. So, <laughs> so that wraps up our first segment. And then, like Ben mentioned earlier, if you haven't do so for the um, giveaway campaign, please do so. And then you will be able to win the Intel Optane memory stick. Yeah, for sure. Right. So, so I think let's move on to our next topic, which is called Bite of the Day. Um, we're going to talk about all the latest technology news, and now is the perfect time because we just finished Computex last yes. week. We had a ton of exciting new products 
we have to show you here at Gigabyte. Um, but before we do so, let's talk about those giveaways again, right? I think we're going to give out some other great prize for this yeah. segment. So uh, this segment, we're going to give away a Z370 Oris Gaming 7 motherboard. Yes, correct. It's actually very similar to the one you see right here, but uh, it comes with just a standard uh, heatsink as well as Optane and uh, but still a great high-end board it and is. it's free if you win in the giveaway yes all right so let's talk about computex yes what's up so what about computex well computex host in taiwan how was your trip there uh my trip was pretty good you were there as well <laughs> so yeah kay and i we just both flew back um a couple days ago honestly we're how are you doing in terms of jet lag i'm sleeping right you guys can't see it, but off on the side, we have tons of cups of coffee, Starbucks everywhere. <laughs> we're like barely on our last thread right here. But we are still very exciting to talk to you guys and uh -huh. share a lot of new tags and what we see from Computex. Yes. Which this year, our Computex Gigabyte has a lot of new stuff coming out, mm -hmm. and which includes the new, one of the new segments that we're doing is the RAM. Yes. My favorite my favorite announcement was RAM, Aorus RAM. It's our first time getting into this category. And that was um, amazing. Yeah, so a little bit different than what we're used to doing at mm -hmm. Gigabyte. We're known for uh, graphics cards, motherboards. motherboards, notebooks, right? But yeah. now it's RAM. <laughs> Honestly, um, it's a because I think that Gigabyte wants to go to more uh, ecosystems. Yes. So we have a uh, we also have a gaming power supply. Or as power supplies, mm -hmm. and we have a motherboards. We have a graphic card. We have SSDs now. Yeah, and we have a um, Oris RAM, which is a complete system, mm -hmm. right? And we also have a peripheral, which that we um, launch in the uh, Computex is the our new gaming mouse yes. M5, the upgrade version of the RM3. That one is great too. Yeah, it looks really crazy. A lot more lights, a upgraded sensor, um, and overall just a much better package than than uh, other options on the market. And that DPI is 16,000 <laughs> upgrade, so which is? 16,000 or 160,000? 16,000. 16,000. 16,000, yeah, 16, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> No, because that, it usually, because for the M3, we have like three DPI set. Yeah. That one has a four DPI set, which if I play PUBG, give me a better chance of like, you know, I mean, headshots <laughs> That's and That's not gonna whatnot. help her out. <laughs> It's gonna help you out, I guarantee you. So, and then the design overall is really beautiful because it has RGB lighting as well. Yeah. And then we use the same RGB Fusion software, so you can customize with the different mm -hmm. colors along with your motherboards, your graphic cards, of, of course. And on top of that, when we talked about red earlier, right? Mm -hmm. It has RGB Fusion as well. And yeah, we've got to mention R it's RGB RAM. It um, is. So, yeah, let's go a little bit more in depth of, as to what the RAM was. Um, what we're doing this time around is that we're including four modules in one kit. So these four modules, um, it's a 16 gig kit. Two of the modules are actually dummy modules, just purely for lighting. Because usually you only t you need two um, two memory cards and be able to perform the maximum. Yes. So our thing is we include two real modules, two lighting module so that mm -hmm. way you're able to fill all four dim slots on your motherboard um unfortunately we don't have one for demo here yet but we'll probably have some pretty soon so stay tuned it's um, on the air it's yeah shipping. yeah it's, it's actually on the way right now uh, so we should be getting it here in the u.s office pretty soon so hopefully kate and i can have a chance to play around with it yeah. and i'll uh, show you guys in person so stay tuned for a future live stream stay tuned for some photos some videos of that ram um but i believe you can already check it out we did some coverage at computex yes. last week um, so you guys can see what a pre-production sample looks like, but we'll have the finished version. Yeah, it should be it should be soon around there because we already seen the module here, mm -hmm. and it just it'll be too long. Yeah. And but I'm, it's very exciting a new technology that we have t um, in Computex. Mm -hmm. And so if you guys have any comments or you guys are interested in something that you guys want to know, comment below, and then we're more than happy to share. Yeah, definitely. And last but not least, we have a gaming mouse pad. Yes, I know a lot of you guys out there really wanted this, but we have an RGB mouse pad that's coming out. RGB. I believe it's called the um, Oris P7 gaming mouse pad. So that one, it makes a perfect addition with the Oris M5 mouse. Um, that one should be available pretty soon. I want to say within the coming few months. So yeah, it should be in, in the next um, two to three months. 
Yeah, two to three months. So it'll be available really soon. And um, like what Kate was talking about earlier with RGB, um, this mouse pad does support RGB fusion. So completely syncable with everything else that you got from Oris. And so, so one software take care of everything. It's like your remote control at home. One perfect. Yes, exactly. Well, anything else during Computex that you're very interested about that you want to share? Um, well, let's see. Well, outside of work, uh, <laughs> we kind of we had a lot of good food at Computex. Taiwan has a ton of great food. Yes. Um, really good food for the money too, especially since we're coming here from the U.S. Oh my god! Oh my god, food there's so it's cheap. It's like one third of the price, but you get so much more. Yeah, it's crazy. It it's is. Crazy. Taiwan has a good trip, but plus the weather right now is pretty good. Yeah. There's a lot of technology actually just, you know, now. Um, I'm reading a comment from Jonathan Lightwood. Okay. He's saying that we should make RGB. RGB what, speaker. What, what do you think? I think it's good. I actually think it's good. Because yeah, it's not a bad idea. It is because we have RGB mouse. We have mm -hmm. RGB mouse pad. We have RGB keyboard. Mm -hmm. Why not RGB speaker? Yeah, pretty It much. will be a eco-family systems yeah, with the yeah. uh, peripherals yeah so actually that's not a bad idea so if you guys actually do want to see that keep letting us know in the comments below uh we'll probably have to screenshot some of them send them to our headquarters try to push them to make some of these uh speakers yeah, yeah. I, I think actually they think this is a great idea maybe they'll, they will like it because <laughs> maybe no one mentioned before hmm? maybe no one mentioned i don't know I mean, this is but the first I, time I, I, I think that's a great idea yeah for sure let's see what any other people are saying all right let's take a look um, will there be an Oris gaming phone? What? Phone. A gaming phone. <laughs> I know uh, one of our competitors uh, did announce their cell phone at Computex, and honestly, I think it's a pretty cool idea. Um, I don't, I don't know, maybe it's something that we have to keep an eye out on. That would be a little bit harder, I think. Yeah, a little bit different than what we're used to, but hey, you never yeah. know. Nothing's, uh, all, all I'll, I would option. say that's a great idea, but a uh, slightly harder challenge there. <laughs> um... Caleb Legacy asks us if we're going to make any kind of AIO water cooling. I know. AIO water cooling. Why? Yeah. I lose the point there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? So actually, uh, last week when I was in Taiwan, I did talk with some of the product managers back there, and we actually do have those in the works. Right now, we have an Aorus air cooler. Uh, the, it's called the ATC700. Yes. That one also has RGB. But we're planning to expand our portfolio of cooling products. So nice. we will have an AIO cooler. Unfortunately, I don't have any specs that I can share yet. Mm -hmm. um, but just know that it is on the way. Uh, maybe we might see it towards the end of the year, maybe around November, December time. So again, if you guys want to stay updated on that, we'll have some more announcements on our social media pages. Um, we might even share in an upcoming Oris TV live stream. So stay tuned for that. That's a good news because we, um, well, I'm from the south side and there's a lot of customers or end users are asking if we're going to have any water cooling. So that's a, that's a really good mm -hmm. part. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. And of course, as I'm pretty sure it's going to be RGB as well. So again, syncable with everything. And, and um, the system will look fantastic. Yeah, for sure. So pretty much the idea is, you know, we can make a complete system now with everything Gigabyte, everything ORS. Um, except the CPU, of course. That one's still going to be um, uh, Intel AMD. We're not ready to make our own CPUs yet. But... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we're probably never going to get into that. Um, but yeah, I did hear um, rumors about Oris monitors as well. Wow. So, yeah. But I, I heard that the rumor is um, we're going to have in somewhere around the end of the year. Yes. So, again, similar to the AO cooling, it's not ready as of yet. So, I don't have any specs to share. But but the monitor I know is in the RMD right now. Yeah, so it's actually it's cooking. being yeah, it's cooking. It's cooking. It's not ready for release yet. But again, if you guys want to hear an announcement, an official announcement, we'll have it here on our social media pages. We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Twitch. Uh, we have a bunch of other stuff too. We have an Oris.com website as well as our blog where we announce all the latest and greatest products here at Oris. And that uh, is for <laughs> actually. The, what do you think there'll be RGB monitors? <laughs> Great idea. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe. I think it's um not for this first um 
not for the first series that we launch, because that current one is in in the R and D already. Yeah. So, logical thinking, probably. probably actually, not. I actually, think it will. No, I think it will have. No, I I think that will be a uh, put out on thoughts because yeah. that one I remember it's gonna be. Oris, right? Oris, correct. Oris monitors. Yeah, and usually Oris is our top of the gaming light, so that is maybe. Mm-hmm. So, so, I guess we will find out later, and so stay tuned, and we'll we'll release that question, yeah. what that answer afterwards. For sure, for sure. Um, so before we continue on with our topic, I just want to remind you guys that we do have giveaways going on right now. Um, the current one we want to talk to you guys about is a motherboard giveaway. We're giving out a Z three seventy gaming seven motherboard. All you guys have to do to enter into it is share this stream as well as enter the link in the description below. It's going to take you to a, t- to a custom Gleam giveaway page, and mm-hmm. we've got some little activities you guys have to do on there to get your entries in. But, um, yeah, if you guys want to win this, um, definitely click on that link. Otherwise, uh, I think Kay and I, we might have to fight for the giveaway prize. <laughs> no, I'm going to take it. <laughs> so we're going to take a quick commercial break, and then afterwards, we're going to come back. And... The last segments, we're gonna give another big prize for you guys. So stay tuned. And we'll see you guys later. Yep.
some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Hope you guys didn't fall asleep during that commercial break, but we're finally back. Um, and one thing I want to tell you guys is we were able to talk to our bosses during that commercial break, and um, we got Thank one you. last prize to announce for you guys. We're actually going to give away one of our Z370 Gaming 7- OP boards. It's the one that we had Brian here earlier to talk to us yes. about. Um, let me see if I still have it. Here we go. So this is the board that we just talk about and go through. It's a great technology here. And this is going to be our last giveaway for this section. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you guys want to win this, remember to share this post as well as enter into the description. Enter into the link in the description below. Um, we're going to have information there on how exactly you guys can enter in to win this prize. Um, so really great stuff. Limited time. So remember to get on that. I believe we're going to announce a giveaway winner next Friday. Yes. Um, so remember to get your entries in today um, and then even share it with your friends as well. So the next, uh, so the winner of these three prizes will be announced? Next Friday. So next Friday. So everyone, whoever entered this giveaway, stay tuned. On our, um, where can they follow? They're going to follow us on Facebook. So Facebook, everyone. So on next Friday, Facebook, stay tuned and then... Maybe you'll be the winner. Who knows, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So before we get into the next sections, actually, uh, one of our uh, one of our friends was asking um, Brian uh, Ryan Christopher. Ryan Christopher is asking, "What is the difference from? Um, is there any uh, big improvement from Z three seventy um, to Z three Z one seventy to Z three seventy <laughs> high end motherboards?" So Z one seventy to Z three seventy. That's about a two generation jump. Um, so, of course, you do get a ton of performance in terms of the CPU. Intel did a lot of great performance upgrades, so mm -hmm. that means you get higher FPS in games, um, you get better benchmarking results, you get better productivity results. Um, but if we're talking about just purely the motherboard itself, generational differences, you're going to see a lot of cool things like RGB Fusion, for example. Mm -hmm. We have RGB Fusion on our latest motherboard. I believe you guys can see it in the system in the back right there. Um, check out that crazy lighted system. Um, that one's being controlled by our motherboard, by our Z370 motherboard. So that system back there, we plug in RGB strips straight to the motherboard, and then our software is able to let you control all the different lighting effects. So that's one great thing we did for mm -hmm. Z370 that Z170 doesn't have. Well, from Luckily, I have a Z170 Gaming 7 at home on <laughs> Gigabyte as well. Um, there's a lot of like small things on the features that yes. uh, on top of the performance, right? That Z170 doesn't have, but Z370 does have. For example, um, the Saber DAC. Yeah, the ESS Saber DAC. So Z370, we did improve it. Um, so plus be, back then, uh, most of the motherboard doesn't have a metal shield on the PCIe slots. Mm -hmm. And for RGB, yes, they're from the Z170 motherboards. They have a basic RGB lighting, but back then RGB wasn't that popular and it wasn't as mature market as today. So our Z370 gaming seven motherboard side by side comparison, it has RGB on the RAM mm -hmm. on the 
basically over all the boards and then it sync up with our um you have more choice more patterns on the or um, rgb fusions so there's a lot of highlights there for sure so yeah overall z370 um well i mean overclocking is a pretty big feature too yes. so let's, i guess let's cover that um let me bring back that board over here so um one of the big things we did for this generation as well uh, especially on the gaming 7 board is we did improve the cooling solution on it so check out the big heat sink on here that sits directly on top of the vrms and i don't know if you guys are able to catch this but we have a little uh heat pipe running alongside of it too so that just works in conjunction with the heat sinks so again it delivers a better cooling performance so you can push your system further in overclocking but um let's see even if you're not overclocking it either even if you're not overclocking this lowers your system temperatures, so that way your system just lasts longer. Um, so again, it's it's kind of better bang for your buck, where you kind of start future-proofing your system. That way you don't need to upgrade in one or two years. You can hold on to this for maybe three or four years before you have a need to upgrade your system. Exactly, and I'm still using my Z170s perfectly. But <laughs> one thing though, it's... Well, I do like Gigabyte's motherboard because it's very durable. I've been using for three years, and... <laughs> and it's a great weapon to have. <laughs> um, so I think that covers that. If you still have any questions, Ryan, um, mm -hmm. feel free to comment below, and then we'll we'll go ahead to share more of the specs if you need it. Yeah, and if you guys want to see actual overclocking results, I believe if you Google search them, um, we have a lot of media tests. A lot of media reviewers have tested our board's overclocking capabilities. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be honest, I don't want to sound too much of a sellout, but they have nothing but good things to say about the board. So really yes. great stuff there. All right, so let's that's enter into our last section. Last section. Actually, before we do that, before we do that, I actually yes. see a comment from Theo Francisco. Yep. He's asking us, yes. what events are you guys going to show up at next? Will you be at TwitchCon? Uh, when is it? <laughs> TwitchCon, I don't know when TwitchCon is. I think it's in November, right? November. Well, am I invited? Um, I'm actually not sure we... Probably won't go TwitchCon this year. Well, maybe our Oris uh, team members will probably go personally to attend, but um, we might not have a booth there. However, in terms of upcoming shows, we do have one in first week of September, mm -hmm. PAX West. We'll be back at PAX West again this year. We've been going for the past, what, five or six years? So we're making another appearance. PAX West is in hosting in Seattle, right? Correct. Seattle, Washington. So if you guys are in the area, definitely stop by. Come say hi to Kate and myself, and uh, we'll hook you up with some good prizes. Yes, <laughs> and um, PAX West, we are going to have a huge booth there. We have a lot of campaigns, giveaways, and then we have a lot of games and competition there. We're going to have a PUBG tournament. So PUBG fans, if you guys want to enter into it, remember to join our booth at PAX West. I'm really good at it, trust me. She's, so she's going to be last place on the tournament, <laughs> guaranteed. In order to win the prize, you have to beat me, right? <laughs> You're all going to get prizes if you join. <laughs> so, like we mentioned, we have a lot of um, activity there. So if you guys are, are actually going there, feel free to join us. We're more than happy to see you in person mm -hmm. and welcome you with um, giveaway, right? Yeah, for sure. We do have a lot of giveaway items there. Um, and speaking of events in September, we'll have one more event. Right after PAX West, we'll be up in Canada oh, attending yes. DreamHack Montreal. That's going to be the second week of December, I believe. It's September. Let me let me look it up. It's real a quick. Um, it's September seventh to the ninth. Seventh to ninth. Yeah, that's the DreamHack oh, Montreal. Hey. Yeah, she's pretty good. She remembered that. Hey, I I. Look <laughs> I'm not in, doing my job. So for sales, I'm looking into Canada. So of course, <laughs> can, Canadian. Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. So, so um, we actually have one of the question here. Yes. Uh, um, is asked by. Huh? Too many people asking the same questions. Yeah, hey, you guys gotta slow down your questions. It's too much All for right. us. <laughs> Jonathan Lightwood, he's asking, are you guys, um, are you guys coming with Brian at Montreal? Going? Nah, we're gonna leave him back. We're gonna ditch him. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. We're gonna bring Brian along. Um, because Brian is our food expert, so whenever we <laughs> travel, uh, we do need a food tour guide. Um, to take us out to good restaurants. Um, Brian's so, the expert of food. Yeah, yeah, he knows <laughs> best. He has the best taste out of all of us, to be honest. He's, um, he's, he's very picky. Yes, picky for quality. So, um, yes, Gigabyte is going to be there. We um, 
we um, are we going to have a booth there? Yes, we will have a booth. Um, so we have a couple activities planned. Uh, we're going to have some pretty cool systems to show as well. Um, I want to say that we're going to have our RAM there. Mm -hmm. We're going to have our new um, mice, our new uh, mouse pad, our new power supply. The ones that we talked about earlier on yeah. the show, they should be ready by then. So um, that'll probably be our first time demoing it in real life. So if you guys want to check it out, remember to stop by DreamHack Montreal. Come find Oris, come find Kate and myself, and we'll give you guys a tour of everything. Yeah, and then for all the friends uh, in Canada, if you guys are happen to the boot, uh, happen to be at the show, come see us. And then we actually gonna have um, different kind of promotions, deals, mm -hmm. and on top of that, giveaways. And then we're more than happy to see you in person. Mm -hmm. And uh, Blaine asks, Blaine Mandel asks, mm -hmm. how how do you enter? I believe he's talking about the giveaway. Giveaway. Um, so let's mention that again. Uh, just to remind you guys, we are doing a giveaway right now. We have three very great prizes to give to you guys. What are the three? Um, one, 32 gigs of Intel Optane memory. Bingo. Second. Second is going to be a Z370 Oris Gaming 7. What's the third one? And our last one is we're combining the two together. Yes. We're going to have a Z370 Gaming 7-OP board, which is going to include 32 gigs of Optane pre-installed. Um, the board that we've been showing on stream, this one right yeah. here, not this exact board, but we'll give you guys a brand new one. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, this is just kind of what it looks like. It has the 32 gigs of Optane memory pre-installed inside of it. So straight out of the box, it's working for you. It's going to mm -hmm. accelerate your system. It's going to be really, really cool stuff. And when are you going to announce the winner of these three prizes? We will be announcing it next Friday on our Facebook page, mm -hmm. uh, which is just called Oris. So if you guys are um, having any questions or anything like that, feel mm -hmm. free to stay in our Facebook Oris page, and you um, stay tuned on next Friday because the winner is gonna be announced on there. For sure, for sure. So I think Kate, let's go along with the show. Let's mm -hmm. enter into one of the last topics we have for the day, which is game E3. news. <laughs> We are just uh, coming off of E3. Yes. Um, it happened earlier this week. And uh, did you get a go, Kate? Dallas doesn't get to go. <laughs> she didn't get a go. She's mad. But I heard E3 this year actually have a lot of a lot of good games actually announced this year. Mm -hmm. And they have a lot of showcase there. Nintendo win. Um, I believe Sony win as well. Sony, Microsoft, Bethesda. A lot of big game developers. A lot of big game publishers. And they all had very exciting announcements. So Kate and I are just going to talk so about jealous. some of our personal uh, personal favorite games that were announced at the show. Before we go into that, how was the show? That seems you have a personal exp uh, experience <laughs> that you went there. Yes. Uh, earlier this week, I did go to E3. Um, I had some meetings there, but then... After I finished those meetings, not mm -hmm. gonna lie, I did walk around the show, played some games. Oh my god. So I did get to have some hands on time with these new title launches. Oh, by the way, just yes. so you know, our our manager just entered this um, TV tuning. So he is how, watching you. How, how can we block him? Can we block <laughs> a single person from doing this? Too shoot? late. So <laughs> you said after the meeting you were walking around? Uh, what did you see? I was only doing it for research, actually. Oh, oh yeah. Re know, research, research, research. research. Okay. I wasn't there for fun. I was there for work only. Okay, so how is it? Um, really fun. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what to talk about first because there's just too much to talk about. Um, actually, I think... Um, let's talk about Nintendo. Let's let's move away from PCs for a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's talk about Nintendo and Nintendo Switch because myself, I have a Nintendo Switch at home, which I play when I travel a lot. Um, uh -huh. Kate, what about yourself? Do you play Nintendo Switch? I have Nintendo everything. She is Nintendo fanboy. Number one Nintendo fangirl, actually. Number one Nintendo fangirl. And I'm really good at Super Smash. Speaking of Super Smash, they did announce a new Smash game, finally. It's called uh, Smash Ultimate, right? I don't know, but it's... You should, you should know the name. I don't know the name, but it, it has a lot of great features. They actually are going to include all the characters from the last... Grandpa Father Generation from mm -hmm. GameCube from like uh, Nintendo uh, Nintendo Wii. Yeah, so and they get it together and then upgrade it. everything together. Yeah, I heard there's gonna be over seventy characters in one game. So honestly, it's gonna be hard to choose who That's to play. Great. In there. And then right now there's a lot of videos talking about it on um, on Facebook or on YouTube talking about what kind of characters that they're gonna bring in back mm -hmm. and then what what they have a little bit upgrades onto it. <laughs> 
Yeah. I was watching it last night. It was a fantastic. It, yeah, it was definitely um, uh, definitely a really big announcement. Really excited for it. It's a reunion because every generation they kind of pick a select uh-huh. um, for a certain character that they want to you know um, increase or you know. Um, they kind of passed it out, yeah. but this time is a reunion for the last couple generations of the Super Smash characters, and then become a big five. But one thing I do like though, what? is they still keep a eight characters, which only allows in the uh, um, Nintendo Wii U. I believe it was only on the Wii U before. Yeah, because before you can only play up to four characters, which you cannot do the mass fight. But in start in Wii U, you can play up to eight characters, which is gonna be a little bit of chaos. But it's super <laughs> fun when you you know throw different items and weapons. Yeah. But in the uh, the Switch version, they're yeah. gonna keep the eight characters as eight well. Eight characters, yes. And because it's on Nintendo Switch, you're able to play multiplayer really easily because each Switch comes with. Um, the uh, Joy-Con controller. But the Switch is going to be so small. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it'll still be pretty fun. It'll still be pretty competitive. Yeah. Um, honestly, I really like, I'm really excited for this title because it is, um, it is on the Switch, which means it's portable, which means it's really easy to carry and always have Smash on you. So I'm probably going to bring it to the office a lot. I'm pretty sure Kate will as well. So I think we're going to have some pretty heated matches. I think we should get a you live stream no going chance. on. No way, no. I destroy her every single time on the Wii U version. No competition at all. Yeah, in your dream. <laughs> we'll have to prove it on stream then. Alright, so if you guys have, do play this game, feel free to comment below what's your favorite characters and mm-hmm. share with us. You know, um, when we are in different shows and we bump into you guys, let's have a fight. Why not? So what's your second favorite game? Well, um, that's my favorite game. So what's your favorite game? So my game that I'm personally excited for is Fallout. Fallout 76. Um, ha, ha, ha. The last one is Fallout 4. Yeah, so they jumped 72 titles in the uh, amount of time. What, what happened? <laughs> they forgot to count. <laughs> they forgot how to count. So it is Fallout 76, and uh, it's the first time they're bringing Fallout to the online world. So traditionally, Fallout's always a, ver- uh, a single-player experience, a really in-depth, a really immersive single-player experience. So now... It's like I can play with friends, so you know I can play my game here. You can have your game there, and we join each other in our game worlds. And so, play. so friendly team up game, not, not fights. I'm not sure yet. Actually, I'm pretty sure we can still find ways to probably kill each other, even if we're on the same team. <laughs> so it's like you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We'll probably still shoot each other. I learned one skills from Pug to uh, friendly fire counts. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, uh, I actually don't know if I want to play Fallout with her. But yeah, I mean, I see a lot of you guys in the comments who are pretty excited about this game as well. Um, I mean, it's going to probably take up a lot of my life. So maybe, hey, maybe we should actually get a group uh, group play session together. Play with uh, some Aorus fans. What do you think? I like that. Yeah. I think let's, I don't know. If you guys are interested, let us know in the comments. Um, we'll probably start opening up maybe a Facebook group or some kind of Steam group. I believe we actually have both, actually. <laughs> We'll open up a Steam group and then uh, we'll start inviting people to come join and then maybe we can have some game nights together. I think that's a great idea because um, I just want to prove that girls can play really good games. Yeah, actually Kate's pretty good at games, not, like, not gonna lie. I kind of give her crap a lot, but she's she's not bad. She's not bad. So whoever wants to, to play Super Smash, comment below. Um, <laughs> we'll have a game night together. For sure. Or whatever uh, other games that you guys prefer to play. Definitely. And I saw one of the comments. Okay. One mm-hmm. of the comments saying the uh, Resident Evil RMK coming up. Uh, Resident Evil 2 remake. Oh my! So Resident God. Evil 2 originally came out uh, 1990s. It, it was a long time ago. Long time ago. But they're redoing it, remastering it with mm-hmm. completely upgraded graphics, completely new game engine, new lighting engine. And I saw some gameplay videos of it. It looks really, really great. Nice. And it looks actually scary again. Resident Evil originally I, used to be scary because you know we're little kids. There's zombies, but the more recent lots of titles, bloods and zombies. Yeah, yeah. So we're going back to that with better graphics. So it's just gonna be even more intense. more intense, more realistic. I think we should do a gameplay stream of this live on Oris Facebook. What do you guys think? I think we should do this. <sighs> That's very intense, man. <laughs> I have to say about that. Watch Kate play. She'll just freak out on camera. <laughs> oh my god. So, um, let um see. let's see. Another game that I do want to talk about, which I do see some commenters uh, discussing as well, is uh, Anthem. Anthem is, to put it simply, 
mm-hmm. EA's version of Destiny 2. No joke. So it's 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 kind of like a loot grinding FPS shooter. Uh-huh. Um, where you go in, you play with like four other friends, you go in and just shoot monsters and get better gear, and basically repeat and get better, better, better gear. Like so Diablo, like, it's like Diablo but shooting. So it's really exciting. Um, I saw gameplay footage of it. Mm-hmm. Graphics look really great. It's super, super high end um, uh, gameplay. It, when is it launching? For Anthem? Uh huh. I actually don't know. I think later this year. Later um, this year. I'm pretty sure some of you who are watching now probably know the release date. So if you guys do know, um, leave a comment down below. I know when is um, uh, Super Smash coming up though. When? December. Something. <laughs> Christmas? I remember December something. The camera guys are waiting. Oh, Wait. December 7th! December 7th! Yeah, December there we go. December 7th! So, so Smash is coming on December 7th, end of the year. Um, So I'm really excited for that. I wish it came out sooner, honestly. Oh, actually, for, okay. So for um, for the end then, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Sotiris? Sotiris? Sotiris. Um, just answer our answer. So for the anthem, it's gonna be um, launched in February twenty second, two thousand nineteen. Oh wow! Okay. Thank you, thank you. So um, unfortunately, not this year. But honestly, I think that's okay. I mean, they should take it's, their it's time and make a quality game, right? Rather than yeah. rushing it out for release. So that's um. Any any other uh, <laughs> suggestions there? Well, cameraman, um, we have one of our friends said two points, two points for our cameraman. Good job, <laughs> thank you for the hint. Yeah. So last game, last game, I actually do want to highlight. Oh, Fallout Four. Fallout Four. Yeah, Francisco, Francisco. I'm sorry, my English wasn't my first language. Uh, Francisco actually helped us out to say that the Fallout seventy six, which they jumped to seven. 70 series uh-huh. um, is going to announce yeah. in November 14, 2018. So this year, November 14. November 14. Hey, that means we play out Fallout. We play Fallout 76 in November. <laughs> then once the summer comes, we switch to Smash. Switch so for Smash, and, and then, then in February, February we play the Anthem. Yeah. So we're gonna have a pretty busy um, that part of the year. Uh, we're probably not gonna be at work very much. We're probably gonna be at home. Playing games. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you everyone for um, helping us to share a lot of new information and e news to everyone. Yes. So, you know, everyone keeps updating. That's mm-hmm. good. And what actually, there's actually, uh, okay, Nick- Nicholas just comment below saying, Are they in Fallout 67, Beyond Goods and Evo 2? The, you want to read it? <laughs> you want to help me to read it afterwards? Um, I kind of don't want to read the whole thing. Yeah, I'm going. I'm skimming through the comments right now. Honestly, there's a lot of comments, so maybe um, let's go revisit the comments section at the end of this video. Yeah, because these keep jumping out, and then I I lose track. Yeah, yeah. So um, having said that, let's uh, just remind all the viewers right mm-hmm. now. Um, we are running some pretty big giveaways during this live stream. So again, yes. all you guys have to do. Share this video as well as enter into the giveaway link in the description below. We're going to have a ton of great prizes. We have 32 gigs of Optane memory, a uh, Gaming Z3, 7 motherboard. Z370 Z3 Gaming 7. Z370 Gaming 7 motherboard. And last is the Z370 Gaming 7 with the Intel Optane pre-install on board. So there's total three prizes that you can win throughout these TV shows. And like we said, click on the link below, uh, link for the Glim. Mm-hmm. And then you can join the raffle. And then the raffle will be announced, the winner, next Friday. Next Friday on the Facebook page of Oris. So remember to enter in and check back next week on that. So stay tuned. All right. So last game that we're going to talk about, mm-hmm. it's not going to have the P- not only have the PC, not only have the um, console, mm-hmm. it's... Overcooked 2. Overcooked 2, yes. Oh my god. I have nightmares from that game. Because <laughs> I play with her a lot, and oh my god. It's a really good game. Yeah. She and I, we actually do not work together very well. <laughs> Overcooked. Okay, Kate, do you want to explain what Overcooked is? Overcooked, well, let's go find their title. Well, they have a slogan for the Overcooked 2. Is ready to burn your kitchen again? <laughs> Probably, yes. <laughs> so it, they, they actually do a lot of upgrades from the Overcook. Mm-hmm. And then, the, which the upgrade is throughout different games and patterns, they give you a, a little bit harder challenge on um, mm-hmm. 
no matter your map is usually the map is like very solid and stable right mm -hmm. but the in this um overcooked too you actually your kitchen gonna f shift around mm -hmm. crazy and the then, maps go crazy there's different themes different challenges every map um so you're always having to adjust your strategy your yes. co-op strategy and then before it's um if you want to play one person with like you know two controller that's perfectly okay mm -hmm. but i highly doubt you can do that in the um over two two because it's extremely hard yeah definitely. but it's very challenging because that involves a lot of uh teamwork mm -hmm. and if the teamwork is not success then <laughs> you burn your kitchen yeah so i think um Honestly, after hearing this announcement, we're probably going to start uh, playing that game maybe on a live stream. So again, if you guys do want to see that, leave us a comment down below so we know exactly which game to play first. So you guys can watch us uh, probably fail, burn our kitchen on the stream. <laughs> and just so uh, um, just so you guys know, yes. the Overcook is actually going to announce very fast. So it's gonna be in August 7th. Oh, hey, just right around the corner. So we can play uh, Overcooked 2 first? <laughs> and then what? Oh, Fallout 72. Uh -oh. Fallout 76. 76. 76. Come on, get the name right, please. <laughs> so Over Overcooked 2, Fallout 76, Super Smash, and the next year, February. It's and gonna then. be Anthem. Yes. And I know there's probably a ton of titles that we didn't mention on this live stream yes. that will be in between those two. Um, like oh, Doom, Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Uh, we have well, the one the one that from the Dark Souls developers. From Software, they're making some kind of ninja samurai game. It looks really fun. But mm -hmm. there's a ton of titles we didn't touch during this show. Um, but there are a ton of great announcements that happen at E3. Um, so definitely check up on the latest news online for that. Exactly. And then, um, well, last mention um, for the Overcooked 2, mm -hmm. it's going to be available for PlayStation mm -hmm. 4, mm -hmm. um, Switch, P um, Windows PC, and Xbox One. So all the platforms. Cool, basically. cool. Yeah, so really great multi-platform title. A ton of fun. Um, a ton of craziness, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> burn the whole kitchen, <laughs> burn the house. Yeah, for and sure. And then make sure you have your uh, fire hydrants ready there. Yeah, definitely. I will. All right, so we're going to enter into our Q&A sections for discussion. So mm -hmm. if you guys have any questions right now, now is the time for you to um, ask. Yep. So we um, on our Facebook, we actually do um, the questions. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we're monitoring our Facebook live chat right now. Um, Kay and I, we're probably going to scroll down to some of the more uh, previous questions that are being asked. So, again, if you guys do want to leave a question, leave it now. So uh, eventually we'll get around to your guys' question. So I think let's start from the bottom up. So I have one that um, I saw earlier that yes. I wasn't able to answer right away. Yes. So question number one, Ben. Yes. Is this TV show going to be every week? How's the frequency that we're going to have this show on? So our plan is to have this live show every two weeks. Every two weeks. Um, do you know which day? So... This one is, we're on June 15th right now, right? Yes. So two weeks from now will be Friday, June 29th. So if you guys want to tune into our next one, visit our Facebook page, or sorry, visit all of our pages then, and we'll have our live stream up, and we'll announce some more great prizes for giveaways. So if you guys didn't win this one, you will be able to in the next couple of giveaways that we have. Quick question. So another question I, I saw is what time approximately is going to be? Um, usually for us, we are, we're trying to set a set time, maybe between, maybe 3 p.m. Let's 3 say 3 p.m. to be safe. Um, because usually we finish lunch and then after <laughs> lunch we kind of food coma for a bit. And then we start playing video games and then, you know, that takes a little bit of time. And then, so 3 should be a good time. 3 p.m. Pacific time, by the way. Pacific time. Since we're in California. Yeah, so everyone, if you're interested in watching more of the TV shows from Gigabyte or TV or... If you want to win more of the giveaway, feel free to stay tuned on our Facebook page. Or sure. if you have any question, comment below. Mm -hmm. And um, so every every other Friday, <laughs> 3 p.m. PST, we're going to have another um, Ors TV going on. Yeah. And share with more news and more um, interesting stuff that we see in, in this industry mm -hmm. and then share with you guys. Yeah, for sure. And this is our first time doing this show. So to be honest, um, we actually want to hear your guys' feedback. Um, let us know in the comments down below what you think about the show, um, if you think we should change any of the format, if we should talk about certain 
topics or maybe even just doing more giveaways you know like we're kind of open to anything right now mm -hmm. uh we're pretty much an open book so if you guys do have suggestions for us please leave it down below we're really excited to hear what you guys think about this show yeah so I really like the idea of our RS TV because mm -hmm. we not only be able to exchange a lot of new informations with you guys, but it's also a great um, environment for us to um, actually gather more ideas that you, what you guys want to know, what you guys want to hear. Mm -hmm. And for example, um, gaming nights—that's the one thing. Mm -hmm. um, RGB speaker—that's the second <laughs> idea. Is that yeah. you know I don't see why not. It's it's a great idea for improve our ecosystem for the peripherals. For sure. So yeah, this this live stream is kind of a tool for us to interact with you guys directly. Um, so definitely take advantage of it. Let us know product suggestions, product feedback. Um, and just whatever you guys can think of, let us know, and then uh, we'll collect everyone's suggestions, feedback, and make some changes on our side. Yeah, because it helps us to do a better team, and then mm -hmm. to serve a, to get actually a great job, and then to give you guys a better product. For sure. Yeah. For sure. So, so let's move on to a question. Um, Jonathan Lightwood mm -hmm. is asking, can I exchange the board <laughs> if I win with some swag? Uh... Nah, dude. If you win something, man, just take it. <laughs> take it. If you don't want it, sell it. But actually, I no, 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 no. Maybe, maybe that's actually a good suggestion for future. Mm -hmm. Maybe let's give out some swag for the next one. Yeah, because right? um, we have hoodies, t-shirts, lanyards, hats, a lot of really great stuff. So we have a lot of great stuff, especially the hoodie. I like the hoodie a lot because our hoodie used um pretty high quality. So. <laughs> Um, the logos and everything is not like you know um, normal giveaway it, yeah. it wash over time and it doesn't fade away the color it doesn't fade away with the the mark yeah so for me it doesn't it because it doesn't break out so it's, it's really good quality so maybe we can include it next time yeah definitely for giveaway. so we have a ton of swag let us know in the comments what you guys want to see um, we have a ton of great or merchandise but okay a, a quick suggestion so for the um, for the hoodies right yes. or any of the t-shirts when you announce the winner make sure you ask their size oh uh, yeah yeah we do have size ranges from extra small all the way to XXL um, so if it's everyone yeah we'll have something to fit all you guys yes um, let's see Darren Huber doesn't have a question for us but okay. he just wants to let us know that he did buy an X470 ultra gaming motherboard and he's saying that his heat sinks look great and function great as well. So honestly, Darren, that's really good news to hear. Um, we actually put a lot of work into our X470 boards. Um, we kind of listened to product feedback from you guys in the past. And so we've finally been able to roll out some meaningful changes to our current generation motherboards. And as far as I know, mm -hmm. the X470 Ultra Gaming is the top selling on Amazon.com right now. For new motherboard nice. so it is the best seller so we're really happy to hear that you guys are liking the product and buying the product and again if you guys have more suggestions keep bringing it to us we relay it back to hq in taiwan and then they make the products better on their side so um i have come on a uh, couple of the well, comments and questions yes so nicholas newton yeah he said i have fun so you guys nailed it well thank you newton <laughs> and thank you for everyone else because we won't nail it if you guys are not there, right? Yeah, so sure. it's it's a it's a great success for both of us as our first series of our or TV yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, um, this is both new for Kate and myself. We've never really done a formal live stream show before, uh, so hopefully, uh, you know, it's not too uh, cringe worthy on you guys' <laughs> side. So it's good to know that some of you out there are liking it. Yes. Well, thank you guys. And then second, what? What are you gonna say? Tio Francisco asks okay. for RGB sunglasses. <laughs> We have RGB uh, racist? Bracelet. Oh, bracelet. <laughs> racist is something completely different. <laughs> I, was going, I was going to say bracelet. Bracelet, yes. It, RGB bracelet. We have a, braces. That's braces. Oh, oh, braces. Braces. Bracelet, sunglasses. Yeah, so RGB sunglasses. Um, that's actually not a bad idea. Maybe we can have one that goes alongside with like our motherboards and graphics cards yeah we have a lot of a lot of uh, rgb giveaway but yeah. some glasses we never try so that's good <laughs> suggestion good suggestion oh we actually did have rgb fidget spinners remember that oh yeah the... oh man let's see if we have some laying around maybe we can pick it up and show it to you guys on the stream yeah it has three lights all together you can spin them yeah around, it's like right? you, you put the lights on the outside you spin it like goes crazy 
And a lot of people actually comment that we do have nice hoodie and they、mm-hmm. like it. So、yeah. definitely, please. Yeah, for sure. That's grab a lot of hoodies.、Right. I guess we have to do hoodies next week. So I'm very sorry. In two weeks, so June 29th, you heard it here. We're gonna have hoodies as giveaway items for you guys. So stay tuned for that live stream. Great. And I have another comment from、yes. Ryan Christopher. Okay. I like this comment. Yes. I need a chair. We have that available as well. See the one I'm sitting on right now. I don't know all right, let me move、that. a little bit so you guys can see the so, the logo、uh, right here. Right, I guess I'll、oh. have to get up. So, this is the Oris chair I'm sitting on. Gigabyte Oris. <laughs> I got I got yeah blocked. So、um, I guess we'll probably have to check with our bosses first to see if this is something that we can do. But I'm sure if enough of you guys comment below that you want this chair,、um, we can convince him no problem. And this chair is actually really good because、um, I actually assembled it by myself. And then it's oh, it's actually very <laughs> shaky. I'm very shaky right now. <laughs> no, it's it's great. It's very solid. So、um, when you if you guys buy any、um, our gaming or gaming chair、mm-hmm. or you assemble it,、uh, basically come with assemble box.、Mm-hmm. It has all the tools you need, and you can assemble it. If a girl can assemble in twenty minutes. It should be fairly easy for you guys, and、yeah. it's stable. Try see, it doesn't move at、uh, all. Yeah, no, just kidding. No, this chair is pretty high quality, pretty solid. So we'll、um, put that into considerations and see、um, if in the future that we be able to buy. Yes, Paul Pin asks, when can we buy Oris RGB RAM? Kate's on the sales team. She should know this. And、uh, in about a month or two, maybe. Yeah, it's very near future. But then right now we just have、um, we just during the compute that we just seen the module right now. It's so the first sample is ready,、mm-hmm. but as we're gonna have a launch plan and of course maybe marketing will do、um, giveaways and then a、uh, first look. So it probably will take another month or two, right? Yeah, for sure.、Um, so yeah, expect to it come out pretty soon.、Um, we've have been doing some coverage of it on our social media pages. And usually we do a pretty good job of doing some product availability announcements、yeah. on it. So、um, stay tuned for our Facebook for、yeah. an announcement on it. Let's see. Let's move on to the next question. Jonathan Lightwood is asking, "Where is his robot?" Robot. Or his robot. Do we have one here? Ah,、uh, no. we have a box of one here, but we don't have the act. Damn it! All right, next time we'll bring the Oris statue, the Oris robot statue.、Um, it's actually pretty cool. It's like pretty big, like this, kind of like a Gundam. Yeah, but it's、wings. it's very neat. Yeah, yeah, it looks nice, and I think there is lighting on it as well. So it does. Maybe another giveaway item. Oh, our cameraman is getting it for us. Let's、oh, see if he can throw it. To- our cameraman is、Let's、very. All right,、it. let me. Oh,、throw、all、it. right, cool, cool, cool. Whoa! <laughs> Shoot, dude. Yeah. But, but、so. what happened? What happened to the the actual thing? Yeah, so I mean, we we took it out of the box. It's actually downstairs right now, but、uh, we can fight this. So Oris robot. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's supposed to be a figurine inside here, but、um, again, we took it out. So this is just the box. But this is what it looks like. It's our Oris statue.、Um, yeah. So we do have those ready. We have them in the U.S. office. So if you guys want to win one.、Um, Again, stay tuned for our upcoming live stream on June twenty ninth, where we'll be announcing more information. All right, let me see the next one. Hey. Hmm. What else? What else? What else? Okay. So, um, click. All right. Let's see. Someone's right. suggesting an RGB hat, an RGB mug, a cup. So. Honestly, let's just make everything RGB. Honestly, let's just go all in. We're, I mean, we're pretty、RGB、much. RGB cup will be hard because、uh, you put electric with water, ele- ac- electric. <laughs> yeah, at least it'll make the lo- the water look nice. <laughs> you don't have to drink <laughs> from it. Drink it. <laughs>、uh, I have one of the comments from Benson Lee. Benson Lee.、Yeah. Okay. What does、um, he say? He said, "Well, the the chair looks good. Well, two options. One, if you are interested in、um, purchasing." You can find it on Amazon or Newegg. The MSRP is two ninety nine ninety nine USD. But of、mm-hmm. course, sometimes we,、um, if you not in hurry, you know Ben usually give some、uh, a lot of good free giveaways and、uh, prices for、uh, along with our Oris TV show. So stay、mm-hmm. tuned. Yeah, definitely. And if you guys are interested in how to assemble it, we do have assemble videos that we film.、Um, we made like a really cheesy video two years ago how to how to. 
build this together. Um, you can actually watch Kate uh, try to struggle. <laughs> she, no, actually, she did a pretty good job. She did a pretty good job. So it's what we're trying to show in that video is basically um, it's very easy to assemble. So mm -hmm. you don't need a technician to come to your house and assemble for you. Mm -hmm. um, it's very handy and very um, user friendly. Definitely. And plus, the, I really like the logo because um, I'm not sure if you guys can see it here. You have to might need to move a lot of it. All right. So for the logo here, it's 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 kind of like a, a you sewed it in. It's it's not just. It's embroidered. Ah, yes. Embroidered. Embroidered. So it's not just like you printed mark there and it faded out over time by sitting on it. It stayed there. Mm -hmm. So yep. it's it's pretty good quality and then it it holds. 500 pounds yeah i'm 500 and i'm like 499 pounds so <laughs> so it holds 500 pounds and then on the on their on chair size you actually be able to twist it the back and then you can recline it too look yeah oh, see wait, wait. you can recline it all the way to the back perfectly fine and oh, oh shoot all right he's oh, gone guys see me right all right now. so that's how it goes oh, oh, stop shaking jesus. the table jesus okay so it's very stable, it's very <laughs> useful. So if you're playing games with over the time, that, that's definitely a chair that, you know, help you to success in uh -huh. um, PUBG's or Overwatch. Yeah, or, for sure. You know. It just helps you because, you know, when you sit in front of a computer at your desk for like hours and hours, every little piece of comfort does add up over time. So long run, it is it is pretty good. Yeah, so um, as um, one of the question that William, um, William Cody? If I, Cody? Yeah. Cool. So, um, William is asking, is the armchair, well, the arm adjustable? Yes. Yes. Um, I'm not, yeah, you I can kind of can see. see. But it's, it's, it's underneath the table and the camera angle is being cut off, but it is adjustable um, for, for height. So if you guys like higher armrests, you can play like that. Or if you like lower, you can do it like that. So again, up to you guys on how you want to adjust it. Yeah, and there's a button for you very easy to you oh like this one see you can kind of go up and down very easy yeah and then um you can actually do um if you don't like it the arm at all mm -hmm. which you, there's a screw underneath it you can just unscrew it and then take it out for sure um kyle is asking what's the longest time sitting before you start feeling any discomfort well we being sitting at okay before this TV show, we were sitting here to uh, doing some technical testing. We were and everything. here for quite some time, yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm still feeling my butt, so it's good. Yeah. So it's been like what three or four hours since we've been here. Um, yeah, we've just been sitting on these chairs. Um, the one that I'm sitting on, the Oris chair, is actually really comfortable. I don't feel any discomfort yet. Um, we do include a pillow, which I'm not using, but um, it does offer lumbar support. So again, it helps for your back as well as. We do offer an optional headrest as well, so you can like uh, protect your neck or protect your head. So it's pretty comfortable stuff. Um, lots of options to kind of fit it to you, mm -hmm. to adjust it to your liking. So again, if you guys don't like anything about it, you can probably always adjust it, right? Yeah, and then last one that I do like the feature about this uh, on this or gaming chair mm -hmm. is that on the wheel, there's a wheel lock. Yeah. So if you don't like your um, wheel to move around and everything, Perfect. Then you can just lock it. But if you do like to move around, you just unlock it. That's very convenient for a lot of gamers. For sure. And um, Kiki. Kiki is one of our uh, streamers. Um, he does have one of these chairs, and he did come below. He uses his for 12 plus hours per day, and um, he says he absolutely loves it. So if you guys want to hear a great, you know, in-person testimony, that's, you know, hear it straight from Kiki. Okay. And am I on the... Okay, so Darren... Huber, 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 Huber. Okay. Ask if you're sitting on an Oris chair. Um, that one's not an Oris chair. We actually work with one of our partners to get this chair in. Um, so we just kind of have it on the stream today. Honestly, there's a lot of good chair makers out there on the market. So you know, we just have one great option for you guys to consider. Yeah. But I um, still think Gigabyte's better. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah. So I think that's probably gonna wrap things up for today. We've been rambling on a little bit too long but actually before we end the show we want to do one last reminder of our giveaway that's going on right now um we have three great prizes kate would you like to introduce those awesome giveaways that's a memory test all right so we have a three giveaway total first is our 32 gig intel Optane memory stick 
which can we showcase what it is? 32 gigs of Intel Optane memory. Here it is. So it looked like this. So enter the uh, enter the giveaway and the glim. Mm -hmm. There is a link right next to the comment section of our live videos. Mm -hmm. So click that, enter the ruffle, and then next Friday you're gonna win this few little things. And it's a really good technology to boost your hard drive. Yes. And it re it actually shorter your response time. So this is a great, great, great price. Second part. Our second giveaway is our Z370 Oris Gaming 7 motherboards. So that's our very, our very high-end motherboards for Z370 series. It's it very similar to like this, this, except it does not include the Optane drive inside of it. It's just the standalone motherboard itself. But again, without Optane, it's still a great product. It supports Intel's 8th generation core CPUs, i3s Agreed. all the way to the i7s. You support three PCIe Express lanes, so you can put uh, multiple graphics cards if you guys so choose. ESS Saber DAC on here, so immersive audio quality, drive better headphones, drive better speakers, and uh, just a ton of other great stuff. Um, and yeah. if you guys have any of the, your friends, you know, like to um, enter this raffle, feel free to, you know, more chance of winning, why not? Mm -hmm. And last but not least, if you're using um, previous generations or one um, Z170 series, you want to, uh, Great upgrade. Honestly, in my opinion, since I'm using the Z172, it's it's a great upgrade. No matter on performance CPU, performance mm -hmm. on the motherboards, a lot of upgrade feature, metal shield, saber, uh, saber jack audios, and then RGB lighting. So overall, no matter is your appearance, your performance, and then overall your um, capability, cap capability, it's it's improving. So last but not least, our last price will be the Z370. Or it's gaming seven obtained on board. So we have one, two, and overall three. <laughs> yeah. So again, we'll announce giveaway winners next Friday on our Facebook page. So remember to get your giveaway entries in. Um, until then, um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. We'll have some more giveaways running the following week as well. Two weeks from now during our next live stream show on June 29th. So um, you guys want to enter into this giveaway and then stay tuned for the next one that will be announced in the coming few weeks. And in the next giveaway, we hear your comments. We hear your voices. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Ryan Christopher just mentioned earlier that we <laughs> we forgot the fourth prize, a Tesla Model 3. <laughs> the Model 3. Dude, if we had that available, dude, I'd just take it for myself and <laughs> but not actually, show up. <laughs> Well, a little bit of uh, um, highlight here is for the next show, we are going to have a little bit more giveaways, right? Yes. We're going to have the Oris hoodies and um, some of the just below will go ahead and look at our inventory and then um, to chair. see what you guys will like. Yes. So we'll talk to our boss and then hopefully next when we gather up, we'll have a more price and then surprises for you guys. Mm hmm so thank you guys for your um, joining today. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Again, this is our very first live stream show. So if you guys did like it, let us know in the comments below. Remember to like this video, share it, and let us know your feedback so we can improve for next time. Yeah. Um, until then, I'm your host, Van. And I'm Kate. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. guys are actually here and you're like yeah try this try that do this do that you're giving us tips you're educating us and how it actually works gigabyte has reached out to us and they're like hey we kind of want to teach you guys how to build pcs this is something that you're interested in and we're just like i think that's something the overall community can benefit from